Siamund University, College of Medicine. Video by Omkamedicum. Hi, myself Shivashish Momik from Omka Medicom. Today we are going to show you the Shaman University Medical College. Right now we are standing in front of the Medical College of Shaman University. This is the Shangan campus of uh, Shaman University. This medical college of Xiamen University was established on the 11th of October 1996 under the joint supervision of the government of China and Xiamen University. The medical college is located in Xiangan, in Xiamen City, with beautiful scenery and pleasant climate, so people give it the name as Garden on the Sea. Xiamen University has five undergraduate specialties, such as Clinical Medicine or MBBS, Preventive Medicine, Chinese Medicine, Pharmacy, and nursing. Out of these, MBBS is taught in English medium in this university. Right now I'm standing in Xiamen University with a student of third year, Jerin Jinu. I will request him to share his experience because he has been for a long time in this university. Uh, can you please introduce yourself? Yeah, myself, I am Jerin. I am uh, here since three years. I am from Tamil Nadu. So Jerin, you are here for three years. You have a lot of experience in this university. The most important things with the students are their parents. The future students or their parents would like to uh, learn from you, like to know from you. First thing is about the studies. How do you feel the studies in this university? Yeah, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good uh, because uh, many Ind Indian staffs are here, Indian okay. staff, uh, Nepal staff. Okay. So it's good for us to learn. And we have hospital. Everything it's good for us to here to study. Okay. And here we have library. And we have uh, if you have any doubt, we can uh, search there. We can do anything there. Okay. Like okay. That. So from Jerin, we come to learn a very important feature of this university that many teachers are from, basically from India and Nepal. It's a good advantage to study in this university. Xiamen has some world-class teachers and modern digital as well as normal classrooms. As our student at Xiamen University has shared his view, a lot more you will come to know from this video and later part of the interview. So we request you to see this video till the end. Now Jadine, the second important feature the student and parents would like to learn, know from you is that is about the uh, university hostel. hostel. How, how, how do you feel about the hostel and the features? I mean to say how many sharing in the room, whatever you have. Yeah, uh, the hostel also it's good, but it's small, but it's good for uh, us to hear. Uh, it it has it contains a dorm which have four room uh, four rooms. Each room uh, two person will be stay there, and for for four rooms there will be two uh, restrooms. It will be there. Uh, it's no problem for anything for there. Okay. These are the hostel building complex of Xiamen University Medical College. There is one big misconception among a few Indian students or parents. That is, they think that Indian students will have to stay with Chinese students. But it is totally wrong. In any university in China, Indian students' hostel buildings are totally separate from the Chinese students. In any hostel complex, a few buildings are only for Indian students. Xiamen has apartment-type hostel arrangements. That means, all apartments have four two sharing rooms, two washroom, and two toilets. All rooms have air conditioner, and washrooms are attached with geyser, the hot water. Xiamen comes among the top 10 largest cities in China. It is a very important port city on China's southeast coast and is very close to Taiwan. The Baichang Beach of Xiamen, which is close to the university, is one of the best beaches in China 
and hence Xiamen attracts a lot of tourists all the year round. Xiamen Port is the fourth largest, out of 130 ports in China. This port has a tremendously positive effect, to the high economy of this region. The climate of Xiamen is quite pleasant. Xiamen has a monsoon humid, subtropical climate, characterized by long, hot, and humid summers and short, mild, and dry winters. Average winter temperature from November to February is 12 degrees centigrade to 19 degrees centigrade. And the average summer temperature from April to August is 19 degrees centigrade to 28 degrees. And uh, another important aspect is about the food. It's important for everybody, vegetarian or non-veg, everybody, for Indians, especially for us, it is an important fact in China that what we'll get to eat. So regarding that, you please say. When I came here, first I struggled for food only. It's very hard because we eat Indian food here only. We will get Chinese food only. After that, we adapted uh, adapted here. We can get uh, like chow on it, fried rice. It will be like Indian style. And we also have Indian canteen. We can get chicken curry more and more. Even if you want, you can cook also in, uh, in your room. So it's no problem for food. When you are coming to know that you will face a little bit problem in the initial few days or few weeks, then you will be uh, adjusted to the fact. Then you will get yourself prepared when you are coming to China. Then it will not be a big problem for you. This is one of the many canteens inside Xiamen University Medical College campus of Xiangan. Here, daily more than 150 types of veg and non-veg foods are made for lunch and dinner. Initial few days, when we, from on Comidicum, will be with the students, will help them, to search and select the food of their own choice, that suits their taste. Another important aspect that every parent would like to know is about the security and safety of the students be it boy be it girl it doesn't matter now we will like to know from Jerin how uh, he has experienced this particular aspect yeah but security is we want to tell security is awesome uh, for each dorm uh, there will be two to two, two three securities will patrol there okay so there are no uh, no steals there we okay. can we don't get any problems here. Security is very good. And outside the campus? Uh, outside the campus, yeah, it's good only, not too bad. But uh, inside the campus, it's so good. For security, it's so good. Okay. No problem. The next part of this interview, we will see later in this video. So we request you to see this video until the end. Meanwhile, let us have a look at the whole campus. The campus covers a total area of 11,60,000 square meters. There are three natural reservoirs, two artificial lakes. The campus is located on Xiangan South Road, Xiangan District, Xiamen, with a good environment, and easy access from airport, or railway station. Medical College of Xiamen University has 20 hospitals for students to practice from fourth year onwards. Among those, seven are directly affiliated to the university, which has a high reputation in South China. Don't fall, 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 f
样，像个人归属土。我爱的是你，真一贫如洗。We are now standing in front of the library of Xiamen University. This is the Xiangan campus. Presently, near about 500 Indian students are studying in this university. They are studying MBBS in English medium. This library building is one of the biggest individual architecture among all universities across the country. It has 3,000 seating capacity and over 25 lakh books in both Chinese and English language. This library is equipped with advanced service systems such as multimedia experience area, language lab, and information exchange halls. There is also a small cafe. On the ground floor of this library, for the refreshment of students. In my back, you can see the Overseas Educational College of Xiamen University. Like other campuses of Xiamen University, all buildings at Xiangang campus follow the traditional XMU style. This style is known as Tangkaki architecture. It combines traditional Chinese style and Western characteristics. And for your daily needs, uh, where you have to go, like you have to buy soap. A toothbrush, toothpaste. Uh, you do you have shops inside the campus? Yeah, you have also inside the campus, but it's a bit more costlier. Okay. If you want, we can go outside. It's more cheaper. And you can do online. Uh, yeah, online booking.、Also. We have Tabo. It's so cheap. We can get from there. We can get anything there. We can so cheap also. That's very good. And you pay by WeChat Pay. Yeah, WeChat or Alipay. 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 Alipay no problem、okay. for that. Just next to the hostel blocks, there is a huge shopping complex where students can buy. Whatever they require immediately, there is ICBC Bank and the TM of many banks in this shopping complex. Uh, I would like to ask Jerin about、uh, his expenses in this university. How much he is spending every month? Because he is、uh, he has been here for almost 36 months. Now he has a good idea about the expenses in this country or in this university. So Jerin, how much is your expenses per month, approximately, for your food, pocket money? For approximately, it will come around ten to twelve thousand. If we cook, it will let more or less. It will less. Yeah, if we if we not cook, it will come around ten to twelve thousand for food. And for food, it will come around nine k nine nine thousand nine thousand three thousand. For if you want to get for pocket yeah, money, yeah, pocket money and. What are the expenses for、uh, mobile recharge and then Wi-Fi? Mobile, yeah, it's so cheaper for、uh, Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi, it's around for sharing only per、uh, roommate. So、okay. it's come around fifteen ones per month. Per month. Okay, very yeah, good. Ah, for mobile recharge, it's come around twenty to thirty. Between twenty to thirty per month. It will be around for fifty for recharges. So okay, no problem. Okay, for Wi-Fi and、uh, yeah, mobile recharge. Mobile and how much you are paying for the electricity bill? Do you have to pay electricity? Yeah, yeah, we have to pay for electricity. How, how, how much? Yeah, 
first uh, at the starting of the month they will recharge 10 new ones okay. after that uh, if you want put ac it will take more current right okay. so if you want to recharge we want to ten, uh, recharge for 10 to 20 ones by sharing only so okay. no problem okay so two uh, students are sharing Sh so it's so uh, easy for, for us to Sharing. It is quite normal yeah. and you have to uh, put on the AC here yeah, because it's for a hot summer, place. For summer time you want to yeah. recharge for and more. And Xiamin is a hot yeah. place quite naturally you have to put on the AC here. And any other expenses like uh, you have to pay for any examination etc. Like anything no, like no, that? No, 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 need for that. Okay. We learned from our student that cost of living in Xiamin University is approximately rupees 10 to 12,000 per month and it includes food cost, pocket money, etc. We will always try to give you a proper idea of the exact cost of living, actual package cost, in any university in China. Kindly note, when we mail you the package cost, be 100% sure about few important things. Our package has no hidden cost. We do not charge any extra amount for JW paper. We do not charge any extra amount for first time airfare. We do not charge any extra amount for visa, and we guarantee 100% visa for our students. Do you know, what other agencies, or educational consultants, hide in their package? Maximum other agencies, will quote you rupees 1 lakh 55,000, or rupees 2 lakh, as their consultancy charge, pretending that, they are cheaper than on comedicum. But in the bottom, or somewhere in their mail, or brochure, they will write two or three points in small fonts. JW charges. Rupees 1 lakh or rupees 1 lakh 50,000. Please note, that Om Comedicum does not take, any extra money for JW paper. The second point is that, these other agencies will also write. You can buy your ticket separately, or can buy travel package by XYZ agency. Please note, that Om Comedicom students will not have to pay any amount extra for first time air ticket. Furthermore, these other agencies will write in tiny fonts, you can do your own visa and air ticket at your will, or if we do, then you will pay us rupees 75,000, or at actual, whichever higher. Please note that Om Comedicom students will not have to pay any amount extra for visa and Om Comedicum gives 100% visa guarantee, for our students. Most important of all, these other agencies will write, you can join the group of students, who are going to a BC, or XYZ university. This means clearly, that they will never accompany the student, from India to China. 95% of other agencies only make a false promise, but they never accompany the students to China as they don't have that capacity to. So please do not get fooled by other agencies, who try to show, that their package cost, is lower than on comedicum. If you take admission through other agency, then finally you will pay, much more than on comedicum package, and the student will have to go alone to China. So we will request you, contact on comedicum, to know the actual package cost and get maximum knowledge about any university in China. We will guide you, to take the correct decision, in choosing the right university, for studying MBBS in China, in English medium. Call us, or WhatsApp us. Plus 91-91631-95767. Or email us. MBBS, admission, at the rate, on comedicom.com. All our other contact numbers are given below in the description. And uh, how about the attendance? How strict is the university is about attendance? How much percentage it is required? Before last year, it's 70 percent, but now they increase to 90 percent. Yes, so every university yeah. in China have increased to 90 percent. So now it's very hard. We can hardly take uh, two to three class leave for okay. per, okay. per subject. Okay. 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 But if we have any problem, we can give you letter and we can get attendance. Okay, okay. That relaxation is there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And if you if you feel ill or you have fever, what you do? You go to the local hospital? Yeah, we have clinic there. Okay. Yeah, we are cleaning in the back side of the dorm, so okay. we can go there. Okay. And we, if we can get medical certificate, they will give leave. 
Okay. Like and uh, they provide you the medicine also in the clinic or you have to buy the yeah, medicine? Yeah, you have to buy, have to buy have the to buy medicine. It. But the uh, consultation charge is free. Yeah, consultation, consultation charge, charge is free. free. You have to buy the buy medicine separately. Medicine. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> 只为你永别时的那一次 And Jerin, uh, if you want to share anything for the future students, anything you want to say, you can say in English, you can also please say in Tamil, anything for the future students. Uh, dear students, if you have any thought to study in abroad, uh, please here, come here. It's so good. It's so good to study. It's a good ecosystem. Uh, you, you can adapt easily here. And don't miss the chance. I will say that only. It's so uh, a little expensive only, not more expensive. No, not so expensive because hostel charge is no. only fifteen hundred yeah, RMB. That is quite cheap, I should say. Quite yeah, cheap. it's so cheap. Only tuition fee is expensive, thirty eight thousand yeah. RMB tuition fee. But hostel but charge is only fifteen hundred RMB. It's quite cheap. And so many uh, games, games, uh, football, uh, badminton, every. Uh, Uh, volleyball, basketball, so, so extracurricular yeah. activities, and the swimming pool, everything is okay, there. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we can enjoy. And here. you can uh, enjoy in uh, our participate in all the Indian functions like uh, there is Diwali. Yeah, there is the Diwali party. Uh, every, everything you can uh, onam. Yeah, all these yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, uh, they will be they will be conduct Diwali party here. They will uh, give Indian food. They will arrange Indian food and uh, they will celebrate like. Big uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. for Holi. Uh, yesterday, uh, day before yesterday, I think they celebrated Holi in Shyam and May okay, campus. Okay, yeah, okay, they okay. even celebrate Holi. Okay, okay. Thank you so much, Jerin. Uh, It will be really nice for the future students and uh, their no parents. Problems. Thank you so okay, much. Okay, okay, okay. Thank nice you for giving you. giving this valuable time. Oh, okay. uh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A lot of Indian and Chinese functions are celebrated in Xiamen University. Here, our students can show their extracurricular talents. <laughs> Omkomedicom welcomes all good students to studying Xiamen University.